philosophy of the Bond franchise and mine particularly as a, as a filmmaker is to do things for real. So you have to roll up your sleeves and work it out. Coming into this film, Sam was really up the ante. We're going to be spread all over the place. You know, we're going to Austria for a massive special effects stunt sequence. It's something that hasn't been done before, where we have three cars and planes. I think it's going to be a great scene and the audience is going to love it. We are doing all sorts of things in Mexico, big explosions, buildings collapsing. It's a very complicated sequence. We have a lot of special effects and a lot of stunts. So when Daniel's on the rooftop, he's actually on a rooftop in Mexico City. When we have helicopters flying over the square and down the streets, it's a real helicopter actually doing the stunts. And then there's Morocco, which was a huge sequence for us. I think it's certainly the biggest explosion I've ever done. Action! It's going to be a real roller coaster ride. The tradition for Bond is always real stunts, real action, real explosions. There's nothing made in a computer, and that remains the case here. And so the ultimate goal is the kind of excitement, visceral excitement, you can only get from live stuff. We are in Austria, in the mountains, in a beautiful place called Solden. It's very surreal. It looks like a painting, especially from a guy like me. I'm you know, from the inner city. I grew up in the inner city. It's my first time ever on a mountain. <laughs> I'm quite nervous at the moment, but I'm really excited and looking forward to starting the film. Action! Above all, we have to deliver an amazing sequence, and this is going to be one of the major action sequences of the movie, a jewel in the crown, so to speak, and it's going to be spectacular, and Austria seemed to offer everything that we needed to pull it off. It was a long journey for me uh, through many countries to try and find this, and we found a very unique uh, modern facility that uh, we were looking for. So here we are now, first day of shooting, and it's just absolutely amazing. There's all the difficulties of filming somewhere that's so cut off, coupled with the weather possibilities, the altitude, all those things. It's a real challenge to be up here, but the payoff is stunning scenery um, and an incredible location. The thing that Sam and I talked about was how we're going to top the Skyfall, so it's going to be Spectre. And so far, it's a good start. I think we're going to continue the history of the Bond films and making things that are exciting for the audiences to look at. And what could be more exciting than to be on top of the world? I wanted the audience to be dropped right into the middle of a very, very specific, very heady, rich environment. It's the Day of the Dead. Everywhere you look, there's color and detail and life. And we built floats and maquettes, and the costumes are extraordinary, and the craftsmanship is amazing. We went to Mexico and found amazing people there. It is their culture, so they had to teach me. I told them, please do it your way. And they worked for six months, but the results are breathtaking. Each jacket was created per person, the dresses. We really tried to make them all different and always bringing like, the death into these costumes. We 
about 1500 extras, which is quite unique now to do that in costume. With CGI these days, you do no more than five or six. So the trick is to do that fast, and there's a minimum amount of time to get anybody ready. We did it this morning in 75 minutes for 1500. That's 20 a minute. I mean, that's some going. I think the sheer number is quite daunting. It's a hell of a lot to get out. But the creative freedom in this has been amazing. Fantastic, because who else, who wouldn't want to do Day of the Dead? So to have it captured in a Bond film in an iconic opening scene is fantastic. Everyone has been really helpful. The whole community has been amazing and very honored to have the opening of James Bond film in Mexico. So we're really excited to see the results. I couldn't be happier. It's the most incredible setup here. And the quality of work is amazing. It's going to be the most visually exciting opening to a Bond, I think, ever. The reasons I'm doing the second Bond movie are the reasons I would do any movie really, which is all to do with the story. And in this movie, Inspector, what you have is a movie entirely driven by Bond. He is on a mission from the very beginning. He is on the hunt, on the trail of somebody. You don't know why, you don't know what he's doing there. And that sense that something is up is also tied to the second part of a crucial story of Bond's childhood. So once that was clear, that those huge things were on the table, I felt like I had to do it. And action. And then on top of that, I felt like I'd initiated Rafe as M, Naomi as Money Penny, and Ben Wishaw as Q, and I wanted to tell the next stage of their stories and develop them as characters much, much more. And in this movie, in a way, they help him and they all, in different ways, risk their careers and risk their livelihoods. And I think what's interesting about what's happened post Skyfall is Bond is the one who has more experience than they do. And I think he's got a greater wisdom. And that's very much what the movie's about. It's about whether or not to pursue the life he's always pursued, whether he matters, and is he going to continue or not? And you'll have to come to see the movie to find out whether he does. We've taken delivery now of eight Aston Martins. These are bespoke, these have been specially built for this film. We've got our hero Aston Martins, which are just pristine to show their beauty. And then we've got stunt Aston Martins, which are fully roll caged up. So stunt drivers have been putting them through their paces. I love the idea of this fantastic car being in a sort of one-on-one -on -one battle with another incredible car from Jaguar, which is similarly extraordinary, actually. So it's a cat and mouse game through the nighttime streets of Rome at great speed between two of the fastest cars in the world, neither of which you'll have ever seen before. Tonight we have completely shut down the streets of Rome. And we are going to see where the hero of the film, Mr. Hinks, is chasing his evil nemesis, James Bond. <laughs> we have the Aston, which is obviously classic design, smooth, fast car. And then we have Hinks, who's a beast of a character in a beast of a car, which is the Jaguar CX-75. It's amazing, it's one of those scenes that's going to be very iconic, I think. Just with the two cars racing through the streets of Rome, I mean, how often do you see that? It's one of those things you only see in a James Bond film. Forensics finally released this. What is it? Personal effects they recovered from Skyfall. You've got a secret. Something you can't tell anyone. Because you don't trust anyone. I always knew death would wear a familiar face, but not yours. Ah! That was 
at a meeting recently and your name came up. Unflattered London are still talking about me. It wasn't MI6. You're on a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Welcome, James. It's been a long time. And finally, here we are. You had no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. So what's going on, James? They say you're finished. What do you think? I think you're just getting started. Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. A few little tricks up her sleeve. Do one more thing for me. What do you have in mind? Make me disappear. Tell me where he is. He's everywhere. You should go there. You're crossing over to a place where there is no mercy. You're protecting someone. Get away from me! Why should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. And do you know who links them all? Me. Welcome, James. You came across me so many times, yet you never saw me. What took you so long? Is this really what you want? Living in the shadows? Hunting? Being hunted? Always alone? I don't stop to think about it. It was me, James. The author of all your pain. She's a doctor, she's intelligent and very sensitive and human character. She's an Italian widow with secrets. Her mafioso husband is killed and she risks the same thing happening to her. The inspector, the two women who he hooks up with, both have great mystery, they both have depths and for that you need fantastic actresses. And I just thought, well, Monica Bellucci, you know, makes sense in the story, uh, makes sense with the ages of the characters we're dealing with, and she's a, you know, incredibly seductive presence in life and in the movie, and, and I'm thrilled she's in it. James Bond is a part of cinema history, and I respect uh, so much uh, all the James Bond girls, because I think they are incredible actresses, and now we have Elia Sedou. She's very beautiful and very talented, and she's a great James Bond girl. Madeline, who's the character that Leia Sadu's playing, needed to be soulful, feisty, and complicated. And I think it's a pivotal relationship. So it probably couldn't have been a total newcomer, needed someone with a certain amount of life experience, maturity. And she's the sort of whole package, really. I feel very lucky. I think I'm just working with amazing actors, amazing director, and it's been a great adventure.